Hello and welcome back to the course. It has been a while, I'm well aware of that. Um, I'm trying to get this whole course done this week because I've got a pretty big project coming up in the next couple of weeks, which I will talk about soon. Uh, but anyways, let's just get on with this. Uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about models. And models are essentially, as I said before, they are your way of interfacing with your database. So, you know, if you come from PHP, you might be familiar with writing out like a prepared statement or a MySQL statement or whatever. You might be used to writing like select all from customers table where customer ID equals one and then doing a for each loop for each customer that returns and then it's just a total pain and Laravel makes this really easy with models. So the idea is that we create a class and that class is named something like product or customer or something like that and that is automatically interfacing with the database table. So whatever it corresponds with in the MySQL database. So that means that we can really simply, with one line of code, get everything you need from the database, just one line, no for each loops, no nothing, just simple, simple stuff. So how do we actually get started with this? Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna create a database to link up with our Laravel uh, site. So I use SQL Pro, I'm just gonna to connect to my local MySQL server. Then I'm just gonna add a database, so I'm gonna call this uh, Laravel. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a new table. I'm going to call this products. And then you can put whatever you like in here. I'm just going to put product. I'm going to put name. And this will be variable character. And we can set this up to like 50. And we'll go description as well. Might as well. Uh, and we'll set this to text. And that can be however long it wants. And then that's pretty much it for the structure. Now we're going to add some content just to make it easy. So we're going to go name. I'm going to call this uh, MacBook Pro. And we'll put a lorem ipsum the law as you do. And then another product we'll do is iPhone 7. Oh, not 87, that's a bit in the future. And we'll go, this is a phone for those who were unaware. And that's pretty much all we're going to do from the database for now. So what we're going to do is going to create a new route. And we're going to go, uh, this is going to be a get route. So this is someone just hitting the URL in their browser. Uh, whereas a post would be like a form, uh, like saving a form. So we're going to go slash uh, product. And then we're going to go and just put this as an inline function. So function right there. Now, ideally, you should be putting this into a controller. So like I did here with the greeting controller. And that would appear in HTTP controllers and greeting controller. You could put your function here, put an invoke function right there. But just to keep it simple, this video is primarily on models. If you want to learn about controllers, go to the past video and then you can do this in a neat way. But for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to be using it right here in the web.php file. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pull up the terminal, close our server, control C on a Mac, don't know what it is on Windows, and PHP Artisan make colon model. And the model needs to be the name of your database table without the plural. So for example, we called our database products. So I'm going to call it product and you should use a capital P here as well. You don't have to name it in the same naming convention that I've done it, but one, simplicity, and two, Laravel will automatically match this product model up to our database table without us doing anything. So there we go, model created successfully, all good, and you will see that appear here in whatever ID you're using. So there's our product model. Now the nice thing about Laravel is we don't actually have to touch this file. This is already a class and it, you see it extends model which means that we can already do everything that Laravel has to offer related to models without actually touching this class. Now, if we name that database table something else other than products, so lowercase p products, then we could set the name here. So we go protected dollar table and set this equal to whatever the name is. So if we called it my products, you just set it right there. But as I say, by default, Laravel will use the naming convention products. So lowercase with an S on the end. This gets a little bit complicated when you have a database table called classes, which is something that I actually just came across. So if you have a database table classes, you can't set the class name to class. It doesn't work. So that gets a little bit complicated. Uh, but anyways, I'm just gonna reset this exactly how it was when I started because that'll work right out the box. Now it's super easy to get a row from that table. So we're gonna go dollar $product is equal to app backslash and then product. So this references that model. And the reason we're doing app backslash is because if we go into the product model, this is in the namespace app. Uh, we could up here put like use app 
backslash product like that and then we could literally just type in product and it would find it for us but you shouldn't really be using these use statements in the web.php file it just gets messy but if you're doing this within a controller do it it makes it so much cleaner so if you're doing a controller for example uh, we can literally go into the controller and you can put it right here and I'll import your model and you can just use it as the product class anyways let's go back to where we were I'm just gonna reference it by using app backslash product it's perfectly fine it's just an extra four characters who really cares then we can use a method on this so I'm gonna use the find method and this is a Laravel built-in method so find will get one row based on the ID so I'm gonna go ID of one and then what we're gonna do is print our dollar product and that's gonna grab the product as an object where the ID is one and then we're gonna print it out print out the object so get everything that's stored in that object as you can tell this is much easier than traditional SQL queries uh, because normally you'd be doing like query equals select all from product where product is one or whatever and then you do a for each just to get one this is super simple Laravel does it for you and returns an object and one other thing which is a really good idea is you need to set your .env file you need to set up your database so my database is actually called Laravel now and my username is root password root port 889 this will be specific to you whatever you called your database whatever software you're using that will be the username password and database and port so now we can go ahead this is running and now we should just be able to go forward slash product and there you go this loads everything related to it because this is an object it gives you loads of other junk that you don't need to know about but what we're interested in here is we've got macbook pro right here so attributes protected original protected uh, both pretty much the same thing we can see those three attributes the id name and description all good and of course if we go for product number two then iphone 7 this is a phone all good and what happens if we go number three well if you go number three the page loads and it doesn't fail it just loads so if it's super critical that that product exists so if it does matter like that product has to exist otherwise don't load the page uh, then we can do this we can go find or fail or fail like that and if it doesn't find it it throws an error so no query results for model app backslash product 3 and you can then handle this so because we're in debug mode we see the error message if we weren't in debug mode so if I went into .env and go app debug false and restart my server you'll see sorry the page you're looking for could not be found uh, set this to true while you're debugging set it to false when you're in production for security reasons and you'll be all good with Laravel models you can also have where statements just like you do in normal SQL as well as join statements and like everything else you'd find in SQL it's all handled for you so for this example what I've done is I've gone ahead and added a type column and I've also added another device so I've got the type of laptop phone and phone and so what we're gonna do is gonna grab all the devices where the type is equal to phone so what we're gonna do here is gonna add the where method and inside these brackets the first parameter is the uh, column name so I'm gonna go for type and the second parameter is the content that you're looking for so I'm gonna go with phone and then we're also gonna put get on the end here and this will get all results uh, regardless how many of them it will just get all of them so then let's go ahead and refresh as you can see I've already done a demo but hit refresh and you get iPhone 7 and down here you get Google Pixel both have been returned and if I was to go ahead and add another one so HTC I don't even know what they make anymore uh, put some description in there and set that to phone we would also see that pop up so HTC whatever phone you get the point now what about if we want to loop through these well this is the same as in normal PHP You're just gonna do a for each loop so for each product and this should actually be set to products just to keep it consistent so for each products as dollar product and then what we're going to do is we're going to echo out dollar product name and then dollar product uh, description and then when we hit refresh iPhone 7 this is a phone Google Pixel blah, 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 HTC blah, blah, blah. and there you go you get the point so this is just a really simple introduction really just getting started there's going to be another video in a couple of days hopefully about how you can sort of take modals to a more advanced stage how you can do like join queries and relationships and all that so that should be out in a couple of days um, but for now just the absolute basics